All right, everybody. Uh, we went through and looked at a couple of them already. We figured we'd show you how to set one up. Um, so if you want to come around the back here, first thing we notice is when they come, they come on. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and flip this switch here. Make sure you turn it off. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look on the inside here. So they have a little power supply here. Um, when it comes, it comes set to 220 to 240 volt. We're going to go ahead and flip that little switch on the inside there to set it to 100 to 120. I'm just going to use the key here. And we'll just do a little flip just like that, nice and easy. So go ahead and close it back up. Go ahead and go around to the front of it here. Uh, they zip tie the, the uh, claw in there so it doesn't move around while it's being shipped. So we're going to go ahead and grab some uh, trusty little cutters here and we'll open it up and we'll give those zip ties a snip. You got to be very careful to try not to damage the machine as you're cutting it. Don't want to break something you haven't used yet. Oh, come on now. There we go. Nice and easy. Two more to go. You put these on here really tight. There we go. Perfect. One more to go. This one will be nice and easy. Boom, just like that. Alrighty, so the claw is all free, moves around, glides nice and easy, no problems there, everything seems to be good. Close it back up. Alright, let's uh, open up the little coin here. Okay, so this is the uh, coin acceptor. In order to, for it to start taking coins, you have to set it right into here. So this can be a little tricky sometimes, but what you do is you pull this whole thing back. It's like a spring loaded there, and you have to set it right in there and get it right in that groove, just like that, okay? And then we'll put that back on there for now. And if you take a look in here, um, seeing as how we got four of them, uh, they come with uh, little spare parts. So these are all the spare parts that it came with. Just some bolts and some ropes and stuff so you can hold it down. Slide that back in there. And then this is the bill acceptor for it. Okay, I think we're ready to plug it in. Go around the back here. Give it a plug in. Okay, we'll go around the front and we'll flip it on. And voila! So it has a little display screen here, which is pretty cool. It tells you how many plays and how long you get to play on it. Nice little joystick here, looks pretty cool with a fan fancy button with LEDs around it. So we're gonna go ahead and open this back up. And then you press this red button in the back here, and then that's how you can get to the settings on the screen.
go. So we're going to start with basic set. Basic set. So we want it to take two coins. So we're going to move it over to two. air gap sensor we heard a rumor that these sensors on here weren't very good and it'd probably be a good idea to just turn them off for the first couple uses so we'll go ahead and do that uh, and then down here is where you can set your music and stuff uh, the background music the changes with each number it's pretty cool we'll go ahead and set it to zero here and then we'll hit the return and then you just scroll up and hit quit and now she's ready to play let's go ahead and give it a test insert first coin took it insert second coin took it so we got our first play time hasn't started yet it doesn't start until you move the stick so it's moving around, changes music, goes all the way back, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Everything seems to be working pretty good. Moving around in circles, everything seems to be working pretty good. Let's see if we can try and pick up this power cord here. Nope, not strong enough. But everything seems to be working the way it's supposed to. All in all, pretty happy with it. So. Uh, Let's go see if we can find some places to put it in and see how it does. See you guys later. Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make one more note uh, when we set these up. We have to set up the uh, bill acceptor. You can see when it's open right now, you can see the dip switches there. Um, it's not set up for uh, US dollars. In order to set it for uh, US dollars, you have to do the uh, uh, dip switch one and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it like that. Uh, oops. Oh, come on now. There we go. So you can see the first one and the fifth one are down, all the other ones are up. And that sets it to uh, US dollars. Now, we set the machine up as, uh, as two coins equals one play. Um, and then it's set up as a dollar is uh, four coins. So you'll get two plays out of a dollar. Uh, that was it, just wanted to show you guys that too.